Okay, so now we've seen that Kafka has data and how it handles the data and the concept of leader and broker and topics, partitions. But how does the data get into Kafka? Well, that's with producers. Producers, they write data to a topic and they only have to specify the topic name and one broker to connect to, as said before, and Kafka will automatically care of routing the data to the right brokers and the right partitions. So look at the graph in the bottom. We have our producer and he wants to send data to topic one. It connects to one of the brokers and automatically it's connected to all of them. Now it sends data. And as we saw before, the data will be randomly assigned to a partition. Therefore, it will send data to partition zero, partition one and partition two, which brings some load balancing. The concept of load balancing means that your load is spread between different servers or brokers. So as you can see now, we have a producer and produces data, and that's the graph that we've seen before. Now it just puts everything into perspective. Producers, they have a choice they have to make. Basically, it's how much they want the data to be acknowledged by the brokers. So three options, from the least safe to the safest. The least safe is x equals zero, and your producer will not wait for acknowledgement. Acknowledgement means a response from the server. It will just send the data, and a broker will maybe say yes, maybe say no, but we don't know. So there is a possible data loss in here. But at least it's super quick. You send, 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 and never really care about the response. X equal one is that the producer will wait for leader acknowledgement. That means that you send your data, and the leader says, hey, I got it. And cool, you're done. So there's a bit of wait here, still very high performance, to be honest. Uh, and there's limited data loss because at least you know that one broker, the leader, has your data. But there's no guarantee that the replicas have it. And that brings us to the next config, which is x equal all. Basically, when you put that setting, you want to have the leader and all the replicas to be acknowledged that they have the data. And that's how you have no data loss. Basically, remember before there was a replication factor of two. If we send the data, we need acknowledgement for the two brokers before we say, okay, cool, you have it. So that's a really important concept. The x equals zero is the highest performance. You send data, you don't even wait for acknowledgement. And x equals all is the safest. You wait for all the replicas to acknowledge your rights. Depends on the kind of data you have. If it's a log, you can, you can go x equals zero, or if you want really high throughput. If it's transactional data and you cannot afford any data loss, Go for the last one. So remember how I said to you that messages were sent randomly to a partition except when there was a key? Well, and that's, that's when you learn about that key. The message of the data could be anything you want, really anything you want. And you can choose to send a key with that message. If that key is sent, then the producer has a guarantee that all the messages which share the same key will always go to the same partition. And that guarantees ordering for a specific key. So for example, in the bottom of your screen, you can see that the key is customer ID. So producer sends data and with the data, it sends customer ID. Customer ID zero, for example, the data will always be in partition zero, always. If, it, if the first one goes into partition zero, all the other customer ID zeros will go in the same partition. Same for customer ID two, they will always go in partition zero. And then, controversially, customer ID 1 and 3, data will always go to partition 1. So that's a really, really strong thing. When you think about it, your data set, you, don't need, you sometimes don't need full ordering. You just need ordering over an ID. Would it be an event ID, a customer ID, whatever ID? So just make sure that when you send data to Kafka, you always have some sort of key that allows you to guarantee ordering and that the same data for the same key will always go to the same partition. So that's it, just remember, producers send data to Kafka, they just need to connect to one broker and they most likely need to provide a key and brokers have the option to choose the guarantee at which they will send the data. Make sure they can get the acknowledgement from Kafka they want.